So the second phase of the transformation model deals with knowledge, user experience, competency skills. How important is this phase to the overall success of the transformation process? I think this is probably the one that is the most difficult and challenging for CIOs because you're talking about people, their behaviors, and changing their skills. Mm -hmm. So what I've uncovered in my research is that CIOs are really looking for ways to do this, and they do this in a whole variety of ways, but I put a model in the book that really talks about four competencies and associated skills. So the four really are that IT personnel need to have business knowledge. They really need to understand how the business works, and this is also is important for CIOs as well. Mm -hmm. Understand the business, how does it work from a process perspective, and a couple of other areas. The second is about market knowledge. What's the competitive environment that a company competes in? What are the competitive threats? Because if you understand what all that is, then IT personnel can have a more intelligent discussion sure. in trying to find solutions, leveraging information and technology. And the third one I call is technology prowess. So it's about really developing a technology strategy that's adaptable because when you develop an ar architecture in technology, today with all the changes going on in technology, you want it to be adaptable, so pretty much plug and play. The other thing is you want to really have organizational agility because as we talked about earlier with all the demands business units are placing on IT, you want to have people who aren't functionally expertise in one area. They need to be have expertise across different areas. So you want to be able to move people around in an organization. So have an agility where you can basically uh, form IT teams spontaneously to work with the business is really important. And the third one, as we talked about a little earlier, is having some project management capability so you can, or efficiency or optimization, and we talked about that a little earlier. And then the fourth one, which I call cross-competency uh, skills, is the fourth competency that really talks about leadership, vision, and communication. And those really cut across the three. So what I've done to help the reader and help the CIOs and CEOs and C-suite executives is I've created a, uh, an assessment instrument that takes each of those four competencies and identifies some best practices in each one that I gathered from the research that mm -hmm. I conducted with CIOs and then put, place them in an assessment instrument where you can evaluate how your organization is performing on each skill for that competency. Now, what's interesting about competencies and skills, there's two levels of it. So one is having the knowledge of the skill, and the second is how you apply it. So if you assess your organization's skills for each competency in terms of how they, what their knowledge on the skill is and how they apply the skill from an efficiency perspective, you can plot the results on a two-by-two two matrix. So on the y-axis, you can have what's the knowledge that they have, how good is that knowledge on a scale of, let's say, one to five, because mm -hmm. that's what I use in the book, in the template, and then how efficiently do they provide it. So the ideal is you want to be up in the upper right-hand corner, because you want to make sure your organization has the knowledge, and they really apply it effectively, and applying it effectively means it has business value.